Hey, welcome back. So let's just start off with uh, giving a general formula for quadratic. Um, so that will be f of x will be equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. Yeah, and there are two ways that you can solve for any kind of quadratic. Uh, the first one would be the discriminant, and the next one would be the complete the square. So to give a a revision of what is a discriminant uh, here's the formula so a so sorry x so x1 or x2 is equals to negative b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a now this term inside the square root that's called the delta which is represented by a triangle so if delta is greater than zero we would have a unique solution or a unique root if we have a delta that's equals to zero then we will have a repeated root repeated root and then finally if we have a delta that's less than zero which is which means that b squared minus 4ac is negative then we would have a complex root So let me give you an example of how this looks like on the x and y plane. So let me draw a x and y plane. So this is my x-axis, so this is my x, and this will be my f of x. So let's start off with, okay, first of all, let's label this. So this would be uh, 1, this will be 2, this will be 3, okay? So for the first one, a unique root is where a parabola intersects on the x-axis okay where where you have two intersection points so for example it could look something like this and you could have it like that okay so that's number one that's number one or you could have a repeated root which means that the vertex this is the vertex the, t the tip of the the parabola only touches one point on the x-axis so it, sh it, it could look something like this it could look something like this okay so this would be number two not 12 2 and finally uh, the complex root uh, is where is when the parabola hovers above the x-axis so it never touches the x-axis so it, sh it should look something like that okay that's uh, 3 now we can never uh, express complex root on the Cartesian coordinate system uh, so a Cartesian coordinate system is where um, is what you used to draw on uh, the x and y plane but um, for complex roots we can only express it in the argon diagram okay so we'll get to that in uh, section 3 where we actually go in depth on complex numbers okay so let's move on now let's look at the complete the square method okay guys so let's look at complete the square suppose that you have f of x is equals to let's say x squared plus 6x plus 8 yeah now for any quadratic right that we can always make this two terms uh, x square and and 6x into what they call a perfect square so uh, for example a perfect square would be uh, let's say x plus 3 square or it could be x plus 5 square or whatever so these are perfect squares okay where you don't have uh, a, a, you don't have a constant sticking out for example if you have x plus 3 square plus 1 or something then it wouldn't be a perfect square so how do we make this into a perfect square well w what we need to do is that we need to um, drop away the x in this term and then drop away the power and equate this to 1 and then we're gonna half this number by 2 okay so it will look something like this so x plus 3 and then the whole thing square plus 8 
now if I if I do this then I'll introduce a new term right so if I expand this bracket um, if I expand this bracket x plus 3 square that will become x square plus uh, plus 6x plus 9 yeah now this term here is okay this term here matches exactly with this but not this term here so that means that we need to actually minus the 9 off okay because because while we do this yeah we are introducing a positive 9 so we have to minus that 9 off to give us back this uh, term here so what would this be that would be x plus 3 square minus 1 gives me 0 so if we solve this that will be x1 equals to um, negative 2 and then x2 would be negative 4 okay now let's look at another example okay so let's look at this uh, simple equation uh, again we we're gonna solve this by using complete the square so again we're gonna drop this the x we're gonna drop the 2 and then we're gonna square the whole thing and then half this number so that will look something like this so x uh, plus 3 over 2 <coughs> square plus 2 minus the square of this number yeah because by by doing this I'm um, I'm generating a positive 9 over 4 so I have to minus this off I have to minus this off so it's minus 9 over 4 gives me 0 okay so that would equals to uh, f 8 over 4 minus 9 over 4 equals to 0 so that means that x plus 3 over 2 square equals 1 over 4 so that would be x plus 3 over 2 equals to plus or minus 1 over 2 so that will be x1 equals to negative 2 or x2 equals to negative 1 okay um, again completing the square is an important skill uh, that you should learn and you must understand uh, there will be more questions on lecture 8 where I go step by step on how to solve uh, the questions and also if you have any questions regarding uh, completing the square you can always uh, drop me a question on the discussion board and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as possible so um, yep, yeah, keep practicing guys and I'll see you guys in the next lecture